it's a it's a tough day for sure for um, uh, the hockey world and and certainly uh, for the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, you know, Gordy Howe, Mr. Hockey, represented the Detroit Red Wings in in so many ways. Um, you know, for me, I just know it was uh, anytime I got an opportunity to, to shake his hand or take one of his flying elbows, it was a, it was a huge thrill to, to be able to do that. And when you earn the, the name Mr. Hockey, it, it speaks volumes for uh, the type of person you are, the hockey player that you are. Obviously somber, I feel, you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to the Howe family. Um, and, um, you know, tremendous loss, tremendous loss for, for our sport. Gordy made you laugh. Whenever you were with Gordy, Gordy loved to tell stories and jokes, and he made he made people laugh. And and, uh, and the other thing I'm going to remember was how humble he was for for what he accomplished in his career. He was just incredibly humble. Gordy's the pinnacle of hockey in this city. You know, he he's done it all. He's won four Stanley Cups. He wasn't just a scoring machine. He wasn't a goon. He'd beat the crap out of you, and he could put you through the glass and the boards. But he he had a good set of hands. He scored goals. He could skate fast, he was a multi-dimensional, he, he did every aspect of the game that you had to do to be Gordy Howe. You know, Gordy could play any style of hockey. You know, I think he was obviously just an absolute throwback. Uh, if you wanted to skate and get up and down the ice, he could do that. Obviously, if it was going to be a physical game, he could certainly do that. Uh, you know, you know, the scoring goals, the way he impact the game, and just the way that he represented the league in general. A true ambassador uh, and, and obviously unbelievable uh, Detroit Red Wing set the standard so high and for all of us uh, that, that have been able to meet him, shake his hand, uh, he just made all of us better.